Well, if you're planning a family vacation that's just a quick drive away, why not head south to Florida? And while you're out on the beach, why not pick up some of those beautiful seashells? One lady who knows all about shelling is Miss Pam Rambo. Pam, welcome. Thank you for having me. I love this collection. First of all, I have to say it's been rainy here, so to see this in the sun out, I'm like, it, I'm ready to hit the beach already. Well, it's a lot of fun when you can walk on the beach in Sanibel in the Fort Myers area and actually be able to find one of these shells on the beach at your toes. One of my producers, Jason, said that I should always go there and check it out. So that is on my plan list because I'm used to going out to a beach and just finding the simple little shells. You have an exquisite collection here, I have to say. I Thank love you. these. Thank you. You know, most, um, most beaches you're not going to find a lot of shells like this, but in Sanibel, they're all like 400 different species. So you're always gonna find something. So um, the little scallop shells and things mm -hmm. like that is probably what you, what are, I you find. find. Yeah, I don't yes. hit the jackpot. I mean, look at I these know. right here, right in front of me. Pam, mm -hmm. one thing that I like, they're actually a little more stretched out. So I'm gonna pull one out Yeah, go here. right ahead. Look at that, how in the world does that form? Because Isn't that to? crazy? Yes. That's why I love those so much. They're called worm shells. Oh, and appropriately named. Yes, exactly. And they're jet, they're a mollusk, just like the all the other ones were. You know, there's a live um, creature in there mm -hmm. that makes these shells. So if you see this one, the spiral is very, very close and wound together. But the worm shells, every single one of them is different, and they they're so whimsical. Yeah. That's why I'm so crazy about them. They're like, I like my space. I'm going yes. to stretch out right now. Exactly. So they just stretch out instead of coil around each other. I mean, yes. I'm going to um pick your brain. Okay. So what is the trick behind finding these? I mean, does it take a lot of digging? Should I have, you know, my shovel and bucket the whole time? Where, where do I need to go? Um, you need to have, you need to let everything go when you get on, out on the beach and you need to have patience and you just want to take your time, enjoy everything that you see on the beach and the waves will bring the shells to you. Now, um, we have some amazing tides, and especially Sanibel is where I live. So I get to enjoy this all the mm. time. But the different tides will bring in different shells. So when you walk on the beach, you can see the higher tide line will bring in a different um, type of shell, a little bit lighter shell. That. Yeah. So what's your favorite time of day or night to actually go shelling? Actually, for me, it's any time I get the chance. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I don't care if it's low tide or high tide or whatever it is. If you can get to the beach and just have a reason to be there and look for shells, it's all worth it. Now, if you're only there for a week, um, low tide. Low tide, okay. It, the beach, you, you see more. You know, when the high tide comes up, you don't get as much um, exposure on the sand. So a low tide, you get so so many areas to search for. You get the lo low tide, you get the high tide in the water. You can um, wade out to see shells out there as well. So I love it. Anytime. And the proof is in the pudding. And though you see all these shells right here, I promise you that Pam picked these out herself because yes. I went on your or website. Or my husband. Yes, I went on your website and you have tons of pictures. So yeah. the proof is right there that it can be done. So tell me about your website. It's iloveshelling.com. And I, it's a blog, and it's really of my adventures shelling. So, and most of the time I'm in Sanibel or Captiva, and um, I just want everybody to know all the different things about what you can find on our beaches, whether it's all of these kind of shells, which my husband, and I just blogged about this, he found this one. Friday night. Oh my gosh, look how cute this that is. It's, it's a monster. So Pam, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to send everybody to your blog, but I'm also okay. going to tell you guys to log on to visitflorida.com because that's where you need to go to get all of this. 